Greetings and welcome to the great class of 2020, parents, faculty, and guests. I'm pretty sure that this is the first, and I'm hoping very much for all our sakes, that it will also be the last virtual senior award ceremony in Benjamin history. Seniors, we've been through an incredibly difficult couple of months, a time that has coincided rather brutally with your final months of high school. And I just wanted to say thank you for the grace and maturity that you've exhibited over this, this unimaginable time. In such times, I think that we all look for the silver lining. I'm not sure I've fully found it, but I know that I've certainly found a number of small silver linings, and so many of those have involved your generosity and resilience. I've also found similar silver linings in the actions of so many in the upper school community, whether teachers, parents, or alumni. If I'm discouraged, I just have to think back to something as recent and as uplifting as last Friday night's senior parade at the upper school. For now, I think the smaller blessings must sustain us, and the class of 2020 has certainly been one of those during its time here. With that said, I'm excited to recognize tonight's recipients, but even more, I'm excited to recognize all the members of the senior class here tonight, and I wanna thank you for your incredibly hard work that you've all put in during your time at Benjamin. Your combined output in all areas of school life over these past four years has stamped you as one of the great classes to go through this school. So time to move ahead with the presentations. Recipients, accept these awards with humility. Remember to thank all those who worked with you to achieve these honors. There are always many people who've contributed to your good work, so above all, keep these honors in perspective. As always, combining your accomplishments with a large dose of humility will be your best hope in cultivating a life worthy of both your own respect and the respect of those you meet and work with down the road. So to start off tonight's ceremonies, I'd like to introduce Mr. Ken Didsbury, our Assistant Head for Academics, to present the first awards. Thank you. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award. For more than a century, the members of the National Society Daughters of the American Revolution have dedicated themselves to historical preservation, the promotion of education, and the encouragement of patriotic endeavors. These goals are as relevant in today's society as they were when the organization was founded in 1890. DAR Good Citizen Awards are given to outstanding high school students, seniors, for their contributions to their communities and schools. Criteria for this award include dependability, including truthfulness, loyalty, and punctuality. Service, highlighting cooperation, courtesy, and consideration of others. Leadership, encompassing personality, self-control, and the ability to assume responsibility. And finally, patriotism, unselfish interest in family, school, community, and nation. This year's Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award goes to Emily Horgan. President's Education Awards. Honoring student achievement and hard work is the purpose of the President's Education Awards program. Since 1983, the program has promoted individual recognition from the President and the U.S. Secretary of Education to those students whose outstanding efforts have enabled them to meet challenging standards of excellence. The criteria of this award is that the students are in the top 10% of their senior class based upon cumulative, weighted, grade point ranking, including two or more years of consecutive attendance through senior year. In addition, each year the president sends a letter to, to accompany the recognition. I quote, Mrs. Trump and I are pleased to congratulate you on receiving the 2020 President's Education Award. It is a privilege to join your family, friends, school, and community in celebrating your wonderful achievement. The success and education of our youth are vitally important to the future of America and the entire world. Your distinguished commitment to learning gives us great hope. Our nation is strengthened by your hard work, leadership, and academic excellence. We encourage you to continue to believe in yourself, strive toward even greater accomplishments, and pursue your dreams no matter the obstacles. This year's President Education Award winners in alphabetical order are Vincent Amaro, Kristen Baldari, Ashley Cousin, Emily Horgan, Nicholas Lama, Kirsten Malmberg, 
Caroline Moody, James Richardson, Dean Silvers, Heather Slay, and Tatiana Ziff. At this point, I would like to ask Interim Head of School, Mr. Reed, to present the remainder of the special awards. Thank you, Mr. Didsbury. I now have the pleasure and honor of presenting three awards. The first award, the Cindy Hughes Memorial Scholarship Award. The Cindy Hughes Memorial Scholarship Award is given in memory of Cindy Hughes, daughter of Phyllis and Jack Hughes. The award goes to a student who has a great love and passion, as Cindy did, for music and art. They may or may not pursue a career in the fine arts, but the hope is that whoever receives the award has a passion for it. This year, Cindy Hughes Memorial Scholarship Award goes to Ty Campbell. Congratulations, Ty. The next award, the Walter A. Monk Wright Award. The spirit of the Walter A. Wright Award is to recognize the qualities of dedication, enthusiasm, hard work, and concern for others. This is a good person award, given to recognize self-sacrifice, constructive action, honesty, and friendship. The award is presented to a member of the senior class who demonstrates genuine concern for the school community and who by example exemplify those personal qualities most highly valued by the Benjamin School community. Criteria for this award include dedication, enthusiasm, hard work, and concern for others. This year's Walter A. Monk Wright Award goes to Nicholas Amato and Vincent Amato. Congratulations, gentlemen. Finally, the Helen Schick Award. The Helen Schick Award is given in memory of Helen Schick, who taught art at the Benjamin School for 36 years. Mrs. Schick was recognizable on campus with her colorful and ever-present shopping cart full of art supplies. In addition, we are lucky to have many of her beautiful paintings hanging on various locations in the upper school. The Schick Award recognizes those seniors who quietly get the job done despite adversity. The recipients have displayed the qualities of tenacity and perseverance in the face of difficult circumstances and exemplify Mrs. Schick's attitude and work ethic. This year's recipients of the Helen Schick Award are Rashawn Downey and James Richardson. Congratulations, Rashawn and James. I would now like to introduce Mr. Carr to make the organizational recognitions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Reed. We would now like to recognize those seniors who have participated in leadership and academic honor organizations. First, the Honor Council. The advisor is Mrs. McCambridge. Honor Council officers this year were Vinnie Amato, President, Nikki Amato, Vice President, Zach Feldman, Vice President, Christian Baldari, Secretary. Senior members of the Honor Council included Vinnie Amato, Nikki Amato, Zach Feldman, Christian Baldari, and Nicholas Lama. Thank you for all the work you did over the course of the year. National Honor Society. Advisor is Ms. Misselhorn. Officers this year were President Nicholas Lama, Vice President Tatiana Ziff, Treasurer Nikki Amato, Secretary Vinnie Amato, In-School Service Coordinator Ellie Blaine, out-of-school service coordinator, Heather Slay. Members of NHS from the class of 2020 include Alec Adam, Nicholas Amato, Vincent Amato, Josie Austin, Francis Barros, Christian Baldari, Leslie Berg, Joey Berg, Ellie Blaine, Jason Bloom, Blake Bowen, Christian Casanelli, Caroline Charles, Jason Chen, Ashley Cousin, Sarah Caroline Crawl, Bella Craven, Ty Campbell, Alex Cohen, Jessica Davis, Phoebe Denenberg, Alexandra Denholtz, Catherine Duncan, Molly Rose Freeman, Alex Goldberg, Peyton Green, Katie Hewitt, Emily Horgan, Kieran Hurry, Cassandra Judas, Reagan Kretz, Nicholas Lama, Lauren Lang, Alexia Lecce, Alicia Liu, Kirsten Momberg, Caroline Moody, Scott Pignataro, James Richardson, Colin Ryan, Isabel Samarius, Dean Silvers, Heather Slay, Caroline Small, Justin Stolman, Alexa Tiano, Issa Valdez, Xander Valentini, Mariana Vargas, 
Sarah Weiss, Alex Walczak, Michael Yancey, and Tatiana Ziff. Congratulations and great work again, NHS. The Cum Laude Society. Chapter president is Mr. Carr. Members inducted into the Benjamin School chapter of Cum Laude this year included Alec Adam, Nicholas Amato, Vincent Amato, Christian Baldari, Leslie Berg, Ellie Blaine, Ashley Cousin, Alexandra Denholtz, Catherine Duncan, Emily Horgan, Cassandra Judas, Nicholas Lama, Kirsten Momberg, Caroline Moody, James Richardson, Dean Silvers, Heather Slay, Justin Stolman, and Tatiana Ziff. Congratulations to those inducted into cum laude this year. Next, Mrs. Pierman, Student Council Advisor, will recognize our senior student council and class representatives. Mrs. Pierman. Thank you, Mr. Carr. I had the distinct pleasure and honor of working with some of these amazing seniors in Student Council this past year. I'd like to recognize them now and give each one of them my sincere thanks and deepest appreciation for a job well done. Student Council Officers, President Alexis Tadros, Vice President Ty Campbell, Senior Class 2020 Class Representatives, Rigby Peckham, Alexa Tiano, Reagan Kretz, and AJ Levitt. I have to take a moment to let you know a couple of special details about our Student Council President, Alexis Tadros. Alexis holds not only the title of being the President of the Student Council, but the first female President. The role of President is daunting and can be overwhelming at times, but Alexis managed the position with energy and enthusiasm. We met right before school began in August and had a long meeting where she explained all her ideas and thoughts for the year. I could tell right then that Alexis was a lady who was ready and willing to make this year successful and special, and that she did. I'm very pleased with Alexis and would like to personally thank her for all that she contributed to Student Council this year. I would also like to present her with a gavel to commemorate her year as the leader of the President of Student Council. It's in the mail and should arrive in a couple of days. Without further ado, may I announce and introduce Alexis Tadros to say a few words. Thank you all for an amazing school year and thank you for electing me and trusting me to make your 2019-2020 year one for the books. I hope you all had fun and made many memories. Congrats to Andrew for winning president and I'm happy to pass the torch down to him. I hope you guys have a great year. Thank you, Alexis. I am glad to accept the role as Student Council President for this upcoming year. Last year was amazing and I plan to make this year even better. Thank you again. Thank you, Alexis and Andrew. I would now like to invite the College Counseling Director, Ms. Wright, to share scholarship information that the Class of 2020 has earned. Thank you. I'm very pleased to recognize the Class of 2020's outstanding performance in earning scholarships this year. Let's start with the National Merit Scholarship. In 2018, 1,600,000 students took the PSAT, and in the end, less than 0.1% make it to the final stage by winning a National Merit Scholarship. We would like to recognize the Class of 2020's phenomenal performance in this program. We had eight commended scholars, who included Kristen Balderi, Leslie Berg, Alexandria Dunholtz, Kirsten Malenberg, Justin Stolman, and Michael Yancey. We had one semi-finalist, Eudora Song. We had four finalists, Vincent Amato, Emily Horgan, Caroline Moody, and Tatiana Ziff. And we had three National Merit Scholarship winners, who included Ashley Cousin, Nicholas Lama, and James Richardson. The Class of 2020 also went on to earn a very substantial amount of Bright Future Scholarships. They qualified for $1,948,480 in Florida scholarship money, which included 54 Florida academic scholars and 20 of our students were Florida Medallion Scholars. Our students also earned additional scholarships from their colleges and other sources, which came to a total of $5,125,704, earning this class a grand total of $7,074,184, which is phenomenal. 
With all that, I would like to introduce Mrs. Goldberg, the Pathfinder Advisor, who will now recognize our Pathfinder Advisor nominees for the Class of 2020. Good night. Thank you, Ms. Wright. The Pathfinder High School Scholarship Awards are presented each year to high school seniors in Palm Beach and Martin counties who have demonstrated outstanding achievement in 18 academic, vocational, and athletic categories. These seniors are nominated by their schools and the Pathfinder Awards program is one of the largest and most comprehensive scholarship programs in the state. All public and private high schools in Palm Beach and Martin counties are eligible to participate. Pathfinders is sponsored by the Palm Beach Post. It has been an absolute pleasure to work with these students as they prepared their nomination packets and worked towards their interviews back in March. We are absolutely thrilled that these are the students that represented the Benjamin School. Additionally, the Palm Beach Post will be having their award ceremony this evening, May 20th, and you can check them out on their various channels. Our nominees are Academic Excellence, Nicholas Lama, Art, Tatiana Ziff, Communications, Christian Baldari, Business, Dean Silvers, Community Involvement, Isabella Craven, Computer Science, Scott Pignataro, Drama, Isabel Samarius, Foreign Language, Alexandra Denholtz, Forensic Speech, Caroline Moody, History Political Science, James Richardson, Literature, Emily Horgan, Mathematics, Ashley Cousin, Music Instrumental, Alec Adam, Music Vocal, Caitlin Hewitt, Science, Justin Stolman, and Sports, Ellie Blaine. Our department chairs will now present the Departmental Academic Awards. Dr. Haley will begin with the Science Awards, which will also include the Engineering Certificates. Thank you, Ms. Goldberg. I will begin by recognizing the one graduating senior who completed the requirements for the Engineering Certificate. In order to earn this certificate, students are required to take at least four courses in Engineering or Approved Science electives, participate in an Engineering extracurricular activity for at least six semesters, and complete a capstone project. Students earning the engineering certificate receive a cord and a pen. Justin Stolman completed his capstone at the Rensselaer Polytech Institute and researched the difference between carbon fibers and graphene fibers, looking at their applications and properties. Justin fabricated graphene fibers from scratch and then plated them with nickel to improve their conductivity. His research has numerous applications, including the construction of airplanes and cars. Congratulations, Justin. I will now announce the awards for outstanding work in science, engineering, and computer science classes. For each award winner, the department is proud to present both a certificate as well as an engraved Jefferson Cup, which you will receive in the mail. The award in Advanced Human Anatomy goes to a student that Ms. Pierman says has the determination, passion, and grit that make her an avid scholar in the class. She has great potential to become a fabulous nurse. Congratulations to Wells Carr. The award for electronics goes to an inquisitive student who has demonstrated an outstanding ability to make connections between the course content and her physics and chemistry classes. Congratulations to Ashley Cousin. The award in biotechnology goes to a student who is organized, conscientious, and kind. Her attention to detail and excellent collaborative skills resulted in astute analyses and successful experimental interventions. Congratulations to Josie Austin. The AP Environmental Science Award goes to a student who expresses a genuine passion for the natural world and a commitment to sustainable living. Although she excelled in all aspects of the class, it was her love of learning that was most exemplary. Congratulations to Sarah Caroline Crawl. The AP Physics One Award goes to a student who has exhibited enthusiasm, curiosity, and a healthy sense of humility as he has tackled the challenging AP Physics curriculum. His hard work and natural abilities as a leader make him a role model for his peers. Congratulations to Nicholas Lama. The AP Physics II Award goes to a student who is dedicated to achieving mastery in this difficult subject. His drive and disciplined approach will serve him well in his college science classes and beyond. Congratulations to Justin Stolman. 
Finally, there are four awards which recognize overall excellence in our department. The first of these is the University Research Award, and it goes to a student who has gone beyond the high school science curriculum to contribute to original scientific research at the university level. This year's winner worked at Scripps Research Institute to study the cellular mechanisms affecting the quality control cycle of ribosomes in order to better understand the origins of cancer. She is described by her mentors as intelligent, organized, and passionate. This year's University Research Award goes to Emily Horgan. The Outstanding Scholar in Computer Science Award goes to a student who has flexed his programming skills in the Advanced Research Capstone class by creating a password management system using several different programming languages. His final product was polished and well-designed. Congratulations to Stephen Ippolito. The Outstanding Scholar in Science Award goes to a senior who has pursued the most rigorous courses available at Benjamin and shown a strong interest and record of achievement in each. This year's winner has thrived in all of her science classes, including AP Chemistry and AP Physics. She was also awarded a prestigious research internship at Max Planck Institute for Neuroscience. Her passion for science and commitment to excellence are unmatched. This year's Outstanding Scholar in Science Award goes to Ashley Cousin. Our final award has been established in the memory of Dr. Robert F. Bussey, science teacher and coach at the Benjamin School, to recognize a senior who portrays concern for others, service to the school and community, and excellence in science. For her impressive record of achievement in science, kindness, and concern for the world around her, we are proud to present the Robert F. Bussey Award to Cassandra Judas. Ms. Wendler will now present the English Department Awards. Hi, my name is Sharon Wendler, and I'm delighted to be with you this evening to present the English Department's Awards to the class of 2020. Um, I'd like to first offer congratulations to all of you. You've been an extraordinary class, and we will certainly, we've already begun the process of missing you, and we continue to miss you, but we'll look forward to seeing you again in the future. Um, before I get started with the awards, I just want to share with you that over the past two months, I have felt like a brand new teacher. When I started teaching in 1990, students used to always come by and um, talk with me about what they were reading, what they should read, what I should read. We would share books. And that really sort of receded or eroded over the years. And in the past two months, guess what I'm hearing? I'm hearing from you and I'm hearing from the underclassmen. This is one way. This is what I'm reading. What should I read next? And so all of a sudden, I think that during our time of quiet, we're starting to look at all of our friends, um, which are the books, and we're rediscovering the power of the words and the ideas behind those words. And I think that this world is full of profound beauty. And when you sit with an open book and an open mind, you can tap in to the beauty that's in the world. And so congratulations to those of you who are reconnecting with your reading. All right, on to the awards. We would like to congratulate on behalf of the English department, Emily Horgan as our Pathfinder. For AP Literature, congratulations to Ashley Cousin. For Senior Selection, Phoebe Denenberg, you knocked it out of the park. And for our Department Scholar, congratulations to Nicholas Lama. All right, so congratulations to all of you. And now for my next colleague. Good night. Thank you, Mrs. Wendler. It is my pleasure to offer these awards on behalf of the History Department. Mr. Kramer, Mr. Hoy, Mrs. Guzman, Dr. Perugia, Mr. Anderson, Dr. Myers, and I all appreciate the enthusiasm our students bring to our classrooms each and every day. Not only are we proud of their academic achievements, but we're also proud of their commitment and enthusiasm towards all the extracurriculars the Social Studies Department offers. We are producing some great citizens, some future leaders, and some robust historians. Certificates for High Achievement in AP Microeconomics. This award goes to Nicholas Amato. For History of the Florida and Caribbean, Mackenzie Mativia. For AP Government, Caroline Moody. And the Social Studies Senior Outstanding Scholar is Christian Baldari. 
Our next set of awards goes to students who have taken five or more years in the social studies department over, their, over the course of their upper school career. This is the infamous mini bat that displays not only their name and the number of APs. Without further ado, ado the first bat goes to Tatiana Ziff with six APs. Heather Slay for seven APs. To Christian Baldari with seven APs. Zach Feldman with seven APs. Katie Hewitt with seven APs. And last but not least, there are three gentlemen who have taken eight AP classes in the social studies department alone. They are James Richardson, Vinnie Amato, and Joey Berg. Congratulations to these eight students for their five or more years in the social studies department and being awarded the Linda Willick Super Slam Award. Our last and final award is the Richard F. Ridgway Award. This award commemorates the career of a well-loved friend of the Benjamin School. During his 10 years at Benjamin, he wore many hats, usually at the same time. He was devoted to his students and to the school, and he always demonstrated positivity and enthusiasm. In granting this award, we are looking for a student who shares the same qualities that we associate with Mr. Ridgway. They must have a love of history. They must be optimistic and upbeat. They must have a sense of humor. They must be willing to share their time and effort in the process of helping others, and they must truly care about the Benjamin School. This year's award recipient is none other than James Richardson. Congratulations. Thanks to everyone in the class of 2020 for their efforts, um, not only in the social studies department, but to the Benjamin School as a whole. Best of luck, best of life, go Bucks. Our next award presenter is Mrs. Tahara Mead for the Foreign Languages Department. Thank you, Ms. Mesa Horn. Good evening. I am Senora Tejera Mead, and I represent the World Language Department. On behalf of the World Languages faculty, I would like to recognize some outstanding seniors who have not only demonstrated scholarship and leadership, but also a love for languages. I would like to begin by recognizing our Pathfinder nominee, Alexandra Denholz. I would also like to recognize our state competition participants in Conferencia, Alexandra Denholz, Caroline Moody, and Dean Silvers. And now for the departmental awards. This year's winner of the Chinese AP Award is Ashley Cousin. Mrs. Cohen says that Ashley is a hardworking and responsible student. She skipped Chinese five honors to take the AP class and worked hard the summer before taking the AP and did everything successfully and cheerfully. Honors Mandarin, Chinese five. Phoebe Denenberg. Mrs. Cohen says Phoebe worked hard in all levels of Mandarin Chinese this four years. She was a leader in the five honor class and was always helpful and polite. French three honors, Damon Cantal. Madame Gustafson says they show leadership and role modernly in French three honors. His work was consistently of high quality among with his positive attitude and strong work ethic. French four honors, Alicia Lou. Madame Gustafson says Alicia put her heart and soul into her work in French four honors. She never gave up and was so dedicated to Congress this year, despite the event being canceled. Her positive energy lifted up the class. AP French Language and Culture, Kiran Hori. Madame Gustafson says Kiran was a really dedicated, hardworking student in AP French. She never gave up and always tried to overcome any obstacles with determination. She made notable progress despite the interruption of the pandemic and always remained humble. Spanish conversation and culture, Bela Craven. Bela was my student. She has demonstrated to be a leader because she can lead with dedication, example, commitment, and without complaining. Even though she is busy, she finds time to help other students with a smile, and she is very dependable. I am impressed with her determination and ability to lead others and take the time to do other things around a full academic workload. I appreciate the motivation Bella has given me just being the type of student and person that she is each and every day. 
AP Spanish Language and Culture goes to Alexandra Denholz, who is also our Pathfinder nominee. Mrs. Salavar says that Alexandra has demonstrated excellence in the Spanish classroom since her freshman year. She has participated in Conferencia for the past four years, competing in the Improm and Declamation categories, where she often received perfect scores in each category. Alexandra was also an active officer in our Spanish club and participated in an immersion program in San Sebastián, Spain last summer. Alexandra plans to continue her Spanish studies at NYU next fall, where she hopes to double major in Spanish linguistic and global public health. Felicitaciones, Alexandra. And now for our senior outstanding color in world languages. French, Christian Balderi, Madame Gustafson says, Christian's work, ethic, and willingness to correct mistakes and improve is remarkable. remarkable. He was a role model for the AP French class and showed both strong leadership skills and humility. Spanish, Caroline Moody. Caroline has demonstrated excellence and a love for the Spanish language since her freshman year in the upper school. She has been a devoted, enthusiastic, and diligent Spanish student whose hard work was recently awarded as the Florida State Spanish Conference with a scholarship in the senior essay category. Mrs. Oliver says that Caroline demonstrates scholarship and leadership in the AP Spanish Language and Culture class through her active participation, her excellent preparation, or her passion for the Spanish language. Mandarin Chinese, Emily Horgan. Mrs. Cohen says, Emily is a leader in my class. She always goes far and beyond when it comes to learning. After taking the AP as a junior, she wanted to continue learning Chinese, and this year she took an independent study class in Chinese and did very well. And now Ms. Ford will present the Visual Arts Department Awards. Thanks, Ms. Tahirami. The senior artists we are awarding tonight all share some wonderful characteristics. They independently investigate their ideas, question without fear, continually seek out new knowledge, and pursue excellence in craftsmanship as they articulate each piece of artwork. By responding to setbacks with grace and creativity, each student elevates their final piece to a level of excellence that engages and informs the viewer. It is with tremendous pleasure that I present the following awards to our student artists of 2020. Earning the AP Art History Award is Nicholas Lama. Congratulations, Nicholas. Earning this year's AP Drawing Award is Ty Campbell. Great job, Ty. We have two recipients for the AP Photography Award, Sarah Caroline Crawl and Isabella Valdez. Congratulations, ladies. Winning the Ceramics Award this year is Jenna Fonda. Finally, Earning the Visual Arts Departmental Award is Emily Horgan. We'd also like to congratulate our five senior recipients of National Scholastic Medals this year. Those winners are Ty Campbell, Madison Murata, Caroline Small, Isabella Valdez, and Tatiana Zeff. Congratulations to you all. We are so proud of all of your accomplishments. I now turn the podium over to Ms. Salivar, who will present the Performing Arts Awards. Good evening. I'm Sarah Salivar, and on behalf of the Performing Arts faculty, I would like to recognize some outstanding seniors who have not only demonstrated scholarship and leadership, but also a love for the humanities, the arts, and in particular, have excelled in the Performing Arts. We are pleased to present this year's Senior Drama Award to Nicholas Amato, as co-president of a very active drama club, Mr. Bezar says that Nikki is uniquely talented. He has grown tremendously during his time at Benjamin, not only as a performer, but as a scholar and as a human being. Nikki has participated in the fall plays, the one act festivals, the spring musicals, the variety shows, and what is most important about Nikki is his optimism and infectious joy. Congratulations, Nikki. 
We are pleased to present this year's Senior Dance Award to Jada Travis. Jada has participated in the dance program since her sophomore year. She participated in the variety shows, dance competitions, spring dance concert, Macy's Day Parade, and many school and community events. Jada was our dance captain this past year, and the Dazzlers will miss her leadership and friendship. Congratulations, Jada. We are pleased to present the John Philip Sousa Band Award to Dean Silvers. This award began in 1954 in the memory of the famous composer of Great American Marches. It recognizes outstanding achievement and interest in instrumental music. According to Dr. Lockie, Dean has been a strong leader within the percussion section and for the band as a whole. A four-year veteran of band, Dean has provided a steady beat and demonstrated a willingness to coach and teach his peers to become better players. He has also been a solid force within the drum line and PFP, and we will miss his almost daily quote, let's play some notes. Congratulations, Dean. We are pleased to present the National School Orchestra Award to James Richardson. According to Dr. Lockie, James has seen both the highs and lows of the string program. The highs come from physically towering over other players, and the lows from his playing the lowest pitched instrument, the double bass. James has developed into a leader whose wit, support for others, and dedication to improvement have helped the chamber ensemble grow. Congratulations, James. We are pleased to present the Senior Broadcast Excellence Award to Mackenzie Matavia. Mr. Archer says Kenzie has consistently displayed the fundamentals of a great broadcast journalist. Her attention to detail on all of her projects were second to none. She always provided her best efforts, resulting in the best work. Congratulations, Mackenzie. At this time, I would like to recognize this year's recipient of the Vanessa Anderson Memorial Scholarship. Vanessa graduated with a class of 99 and was an active member of our performing arts program. Vanessa was particularly dedicated to the dance program and to the variety show. Her greatest passion was performing on stage. Unfortunately, we lost Vanessa during her freshman year in college, but through her family's donation um, and support from teachers and friends, the scholarship was set up in her memory. Please help me congratulate this year's recipient, Jada Travis. And finally, I would like to recognize our Pathfinder nominees in the performing arts, Alec Adam for instrumental music, Katie Hewitt for vocal music, and Isabel Samarius for drama. Congratulations, good luck, and thank you for representing the Benjamin School at this year's Pathfinders. Walt Disney once said, if you can dream it, you can do it. So to the class of 2020, on behalf of the performing arts faculty, we wish you the very best. And as you step into the future, may you have big dreams and pursue them with passion. And now Mr. Ruggie will present the Mathematics Award. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Saldivar. The following seniors have attained the highest grade in the following math classes. They are experts in solving impossible problems and their natural talents and abilities are recognized by the awards that we present to them today. For college algebra trigonometry, Bianca Yan. For pre-calculus, Dazzy Capri. For AP Statistics, Ashley Cousin. For AP Calculus BC, Justin Stolman. For Statistics, Isabel Samarius. At this time, I'd like to recognize our Pathfinder nominee, uh, Ashley Cousin. Students that are in the National Math Honor Society, or Mu Alpha Theta, who have been active members by taking part in local, state, and national math exams, while at the same time offering their talents to peer tutoring for a minimum of 10 hours after school this year will receive a graduation cord. The following seniors that have achieved this requirement are Alec Adam, Nicholas Lama, Ashley Cousin, Leslie Berg, James Richardson, Dean Silvers, Justin Stallman. Congratulations. The last award is named after Phyllis Wisner. 
She was the math department head for 34 years and started the AP Calculus program at the Benjamin School. When she started at the Benjamin School, there were only 44 students per grade, and she taught virtually all the courses herself. Phyllis was head of student council, senior class advisor, and was a grader for the AP Calculus exam for 25 years. This last award is given to the student who has shown and demonstrated a natural gift for mathematics, a student who has taken all of the most challenging of math classes and has achieved the highest success in those classes. Their natural talents and abilities have been noted by their teachers and peers alike. It is with great pleasure that I award Ashley Cousin the Phyllis Wisner Outstanding Scholar Award in Mathematics. Congratulations, Ashley. Mr. Ryan Smith, Director of Athletics, will now present the Academic Department Awards. Thank you, Mr. Ruggie. It is my pleasure as the Upper School Athletic Director to present the Class of 2020 Athletic Awards. The first award is the Buccaneer Award. The Buccaneer Award recognizes seniors who have been exemplary in the areas of leadership, scholarship, citizenship, sportsmanship, and athletic ability. Due to the challenges our senior athletes have faced and our spring athletes not being able to finish their seasons, we feel that all our senior athletes should be recognized this year as Buccaneer Award winners. They all have shown tremendous grit, perseverance, and have supported one another during this challenging time. Our senior year athletes and Buccaneer Award winners are Gian Abenizio, Gabe Agrama, Nikki Amato, Christian Balderi, Lexi Balduzzi, Sierra Barron, Francis Barros, Sarah Bakiai, Joey Berg, Leslie Berg, Ellie Blaine, Jason Blum, Blake Bowen, Ty Campbell, Damon Cantave, Sarah Caroline Crawl, Wells Carr, Caroline Charles, Jason Chen, Alex Cohen, Ashley Cousin, Bella Craven, Phoebe Denenberg, Rashawn Downey, Catherine Duncan, Jenna Fonda, Kirsten Galetta, Daniela Ganji, Alex Goldberg, Peyton Green, Vance Hendricks, Caitlin Hewitt, Emily Horgan, Kieran Horry, Elena Ippolito, Stephen Ippolito, Bryce Kendrigan, Xander Klein, Reagan Kretz, Nicholas Lama, Lauren Lang, Emma Leshevsky, Kobe Leibowitz, Alexi Alexei, AJ Levitt, Grace Mack, Kirsten Malmberg, Madison Murata, Addison Mativia, Kenzie Mativia, Daniel McCullen, Caroline Moody, Billy Moscatello, Ned Murphy, Rigby Peckham, Joshua Pierre Lewis, Mariana Perez Vargas, James Richardson, Tommy Rooney, Colin Ryan, Dean Silvers, Heather Slay, Caroline Small, Alexis Tadros, Alexa Tiano, Isabella Valdez, Xander Valentini, Alyssa Vitale, Sarah Weiss, Cam Williams, Bianca Yan, Michael Yancey, and Tatiana Ziff. Congratulations to our senior athletes in the class of 2020 for their Buccaneer Awards. The next award is the Julian Reynolds Career Athlete Award. The Julian Reynolds Career Athlete Award recognizes a senior or seniors who have had the most outstanding careers in their respective sport or sports during their high school career. We have a female and male winner. The female winner goes to a young lady who led her team to three state final appearances and four final four appearances. She was an all area player, all state player, and player of the year. Congratulations to Ellie Blaine. Our male winner played three sports all four years at Benjamin and starred in all three sports. Congratulations to our male winner, Daniel McCullen. Congratulations to all our seniors. Best of luck to the class of 2020, and go Bucks! I now will pass it on to Mrs. Alex Clark, who has a very special athletic award to present. Thank you, Coach Smith. Today I have the honor of retiring a very special volleyball jersey. Allie Blaine first started playing volleyball for me seven years ago, and I knew from her very first practice that she was going to do big things. So let me tell you about her impressive high school volleyball career. Ellie Blaine has broken the school record in kills. She has accumulated 1,224 kills in her time here at the Benjamin School. 
Her impressive stats have landed her a spot on the first team all area selections for the Palm Beach Post and the Sun Sentinel. Ellie was also named the Best of Prep Small School Player of the Year in 2018. In Allie's time, her and her teammates have earned four district championships, four regional championships, and three state runner-up finishes. Ellie Blaine signed her national letter of intent to play volleyball at Dartmouth next year, and we are so proud of her. It is with great pride that we retire the great number eight. Congratulations, Allie, and back to you, Mr. Carr. Thank you, Coach Clark, and congratulations, Ellie. So well-deserved. We now move to the final award category of the evening, the Awards for Academic Excellence. The first of these awards is the Faculty Academic Achievement Award. The Faculty Academic Achievement Award is given by a vote of the faculty to that student in the class who demonstrates outstanding academic achievement, a scholarly approach to learning, and a strong sense of responsibility, and who has also made significant contributions to our academic community. In a class as strong as this one, you can imagine that the conversation surrounding the selection was passionate. When the discussion and voting were completed, Emily Horgan had earned this year's Faculty Academic Achievement Award. Congratulations and well done, Emily. On to the recognition of the valedictorian and salutatorian. These distinguished positions are earned by the two students with the highest cumulative weighted GPAs as calculated from the start of sophomore year to the end of senior year. Only Benjamin grades are considered in this process. It goes without saying that these students have earned this accolade over three years of consistently superior work. We will recognize both students again at commencement and we'll also have the opportunity to hear from them via the traditional valedictorian and salutatorian speeches. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Ashley Cousin. Congratulations, Ashley. The valedictorian for the class of 2020 is Nicholas Lama. Congratulations, Nicholas. Well done. In closing, thank you all for contributing to a terrific event. A special thank you as well to Mr. Archer, who has patiently edited our fairly unworthy personal video into a fairly worthy event. And to Dr. Perugia for his usual and wonderful help in organizing and designing the program and to Mrs. Carr for her efforts in tracking the awards, organizing the various prizes, and for generally making the ceremony happen. And lastly, one more thank you to the faculty members and department chairs of the upper school for undertaking the very challenging work of making selections from such a remarkable pool of candidates. As I noted earlier in my introduction, these events in terms of the planning and the results are the product of many combined efforts some of which have been unfolding since the day you set foot on campus four years ago. The product reflected today has been fashioned by love and support for you from all corners of your lives. I hope you enjoy it and embrace it. I want to note too that each year this ceremony is an incredible reminder of the breadth and depth of the excellence, curiosity, and compassion that each Benjamin graduating class possesses. As someone trained in history, I've always loved happening upon quotes that examine the relationship of the past, present, and future. In a recent article, I found a quote from noted Boston University historian Howard Zinn, who wrote at the end of a long career, We don't have to wait for some grand utopian future. The future is an infinite succession of presents. This year more than any other, I hope that you will contemplate the meaning of these wise words about what lies ahead, and about what you can do. When our past, present, and future seem as blended and undefined as they do right now, the future becomes the present in a blink. And given some of the longstanding beliefs and best practices that have crumbled under the weight of both the pandemic and their own inertia, you have much more power than you know to go out and make an immediate impact on both the present and in a blink, the future. And I cannot think of a class that has done more to earn our confidence in creating a more sustainable, a more unified, and a more just world than yours. Class of 2020, I can't wait for baccalaureate on Friday evening. You've done a wonderful job this year. I know I speak for everyone at the upper school when I say that we miss you terribly and can't wait 
for August when once again we can be together and celebrate in person your commencement. Thank you, stay well, go Bucks.